Hey guys, I'm Dr. Miller from Children's Medical Center. I'm a uh, sports medicine doctor there, so I take care of uh, young athletes, guys and girls under the age of 18, all kinds of different injuries and problems related to playing sports. So a concussion is a brain injury. And so when your head hits something, either somebody hits you or you fall down and hit your head on the ground, or somebody's helmet hits you, um, then the brain kind of gets moved around a little bit in the skull, and it's an injury to the brain. Who can give me a couple of symptoms of what a concussion might have? Yes, sir? Um, it might have loss of memory. Loss of memory, very good. You may not remember being hit. You may not remember hitting your head. You may not remember the score of the game, who you're playing, that kind of thing, where you are. And so if it's you or if it's any one of your teammates, all of these things we talk about, if you notice, so hey, Tommy is not, doesn't remember where we are. He doesn't remember who we're playing today. You know, he should know that kind of thing, right? You know, you know who you're playing. And so if things are different and maybe he took a hit in the head, you need to tell somebody because maybe he doesn't know that he's had a concussion. So loss of memory is, is a good one. What else? Yes, sir. Being dizzy. Being dizzy. Uh, dizzy, unsteady, losing their balance. Yes, sir. Throwing up. Throwing up. Good. If you feel sick to your stomach, nauseated or vomiting, throwing up, any of those things can be the sign of a head injury, all right? Sign of a concussion. Yes, sir. Fainting. Fainting. So getting knocked out or what we call loss of consciousness, where you get hit so hard that you kind of are, are passed out for even a split second, that can be a sign of concussion. You don't have to have been knocked out to have had a concussion. Some people do, but most of them do not, okay? One more. Getting sleepy and tired. Getting sleepy and tired. That's very good. That also, too. Confused or headache, okay? Headache is another one. Anybody who's had a hit to their head and has any of those signs probably has a concussion until we can decide that they don't. So assume that they do and until you know that for sure they don't. So they need to be seen by the trainer or by the coach or by the doctor um, before they keep playing. The danger about playing with a concussion is that because now we know the brain's injured. A concussion is a brain injury, so now the brain is injured. And if you keep playing and that brain, while it's injured, if you get hit again, it doesn't even have to be as bad as the first hit. It can cause that brain to swell up, and it can cause some very serious problems, and sometimes even death, okay? And so it's something we take very seriously because we don't want somebody going out there and playing who's had a concussion. You're not supposed to go back to playing until you're feeling 100% better. So that headache, that nausea, the blurry vision, the memory loss, the dizziness, all these things we talked about, once those are all gone, then we can get them back into playing football. But they should never go back the game. So if they get hurt and somebody says, oh, he had a concussion, they don't go back that same day. They need to be seen by the doctor and evaluated before that.